Hi, Michael Hurwitz here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a new feature of Autodesk Mudbox 2010, the dry brush. And this allows you to paint on the raised portions of a piece of geometry without painting in the more recessed portions. For example, in this, you could be painting just on the raised scales and not on the spaces between the scales. Or, by holding down the control key, you can be painting just in the recessed portions. And the brush size also has an effect. The smaller the brush, the higher the portions you're going to be painting on. So let's take a look at this. Here we are in Mudbox. I'll go to File, New Scene, and just choose the bull here by double clicking. Now I'll hold down the Alt key and use the middle mouse button to bring this down a little bit and the left mouse button to turn it a little bit. So before I start painting, I'm going to sculpt this a little bit to make the surface a little bit more rough. I'll choose the foamy sculpting tool. So now we've got some geometry there that's a bit rough. Then I'll go to the paint tools, and here's the dry brush. So first let me just start with a fairly large brush. So I'm going to hold down the B key and use the left mouse button to enlarge my brush. Click and then click OK. So you can see that with a large brush it gets almost the whole area. There's just a few very deep areas that it misses. Now I'll hold down the B key and drag down to make my brush a little bit smaller. I'll choose a new color here. Let's choose a green and as we paint you can see there are some areas that we hit before that we're not hitting now with our smaller brush. Hold down the B key, make the brush even smaller, choose a new color so we can see this. I'll choose a yellow and now you can see that it's still hitting higher portions of the geometry. So the more you want to restrict yourself to the higher portions of the geometry, just make your brush smaller. Another thing you can do is hold down the control key to get only the recessed portions. So let's go get a different color here again. Let's choose blue. We haven't used that yet. And I'm going to hold down the control key and just start to paint. And you can see that what it does is it just gets the areas that it did not get before. All the areas in between that yellow, basically. One other thing you may want to look at, go to Windows Preferences in the Paint section here. There's a Fast Dry Brush. If you click this, it may be a little less accurate in which areas it hits as far as whether they're deep or high, but it should work faster. So that's one option you may want to look at and try out for the dry brush. So that concludes this tutorial on the dry brush, a new feature in Autodesk Mudbox 2010 that allows you to paint only on the raised portions of a geometry or only on the recessed portions. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you've enjoyed this.